I just would. For the side of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Ace of Wands. And it's with the Five of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands actually indicates new beginnings, very positive ones. They could be in the area of accomplishments and are sometimes related to work or career. If you were having a difficult time, just know that things were likely to get better very soon. The Ace of Wands, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a really, really good cause. So you're likely to be feeling quite energetic, very positive, or, or you would have been feeling that way really soon. It tells you that it's actually a good time to start something new. Now it's with the Five of Wands, which often refers to competition. It could be career or work related, but since this is a love ring, it can refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing, just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But you'll have to try just to see results. So, when you get this card in a reading, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high, have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. Could be thinking of making a career change. Just know you can be successful if this is the case. So the recent past energy between you and your person, Pisces, Ace of Wands, clarified by this five of wands. So it looks like you wanted a new beginning with your person. Yeah, you had a lot of passion for this person. And it looks like, because it's with the Five of Wands, they brought, they brought a lot of competition to the mix. Yeah, it, being with this person made you feel like you had to struggle just to maybe be recognized or just struggle just to stay on top of the connection or just Made you feel like you had to battle other people. That's what they're doing in this picture. Um, yeah, the Five of Wands is below the word pass. There's four men, men there that are about to beat each other with their sticks or their wands. And then there's this one man, which is your person, just off to the side. Just standing there watching and, and enjoying the fact that he has all these people fighting for him. So that could have been you and your person. Your person um, put you into romantic rivals, romantic rivalry. Made the connection very competitive for you. Uh, I don't know if they had other men or other women trying to get in to the, comp to the connection or what was the case, but you had to struggle for dominance with your person and you wanted a new beginning with this person yeah but let's see what's coming up for the two of you now we got the page of cups and it's with the devil page of cups it actually shows a need to play dream have a little fun when this card appears it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself too serious there was a poet that once said the one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking one's work taking one's work serious and taking one's self serious. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. Now the page of cups is with the devil card. With this card you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, no matter what your situation is, 
that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if it's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner, because small baby steps, they are important. So, coming up, Pisces, like I said, you've got a lot of passion for someone. I don't know if this person you're living with, if it's somebody you just met, or if it's someone that you know for a long time, but you see that they make this connection with you very competitive yeah and, and it looks like you might start to think well if you just just chill and just remember to have fun you're thinking if you just try not to get too serious about this person then you might start to think that it could probably work but you just realize that you might need to just just enjoy it for what it is. That's what I'm getting for. Some of you might start to feel that way. But then you realize that this person, not only do they bring competition into the mix, but they've got some toxic behaviors. You know, with the double card, it brings addictions. Greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. So yeah, you're you're thinking that if you just kind of just not take things so serious, just kind of fall back energetically or emotionally, that things might fall into place. But like I said, you're starting to realize more things about this person. They've got some some devil energy, maybe some addictions, maybe they're a heavy, heavy drinker, or they got certain obsessions. Could be a could could be a few things. They just bring a lot of toxic energy. Or they're a very toxic person. Yeah, so you're realizing more and more. So you're starting to think that you, you need to try to cut your emotions off. And just kind of maybe just have fun with this person. Because you do like this person. And you're trying not to take it so serious. Because you see that this person can, um, they got a lot of negative things that you don't like about them. You're finding out, yeah, not only do they bring romantic rivals, but, like I said, they got some type of addictions. So, that's what's coming up. Let's move on over. Let's take, and see, take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Page of Wands with the King of Pentacles. Page of Wands are usually warm, ambitious. High achievers. Now, if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the e the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. This page of wands can indicate that things you started some time ago they could start to come to life. They could start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a really positive energy, but you have to supply the follow-through because of the energy of easy distraction. Now, it's with the King of Pentacles, which is actually um, pretty good. It speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. It's actually a sign not 
to be a maverick, it is a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick. But it would be the, it would be the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when he stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type with hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know this is a man who you can trust in absolutely. Someone you can believe in also. So basically you challenge Page of Wands, clarified by the King of Pentacles. So let's see what it's interesting. Okay, what I'm getting for some of you, Pisces, is that Yeah, like I said, you decided to try not to take it so seriously. Try not to take this connection so serious. Because like I said, you're realizing things about your person. They bring a lot of toxic, toxicity, toxicity, toxic things to the connection. They'll be reaching out to you. Because the page of wands can be about messages of love and affection coming in. So they'll be texting you, calling you, trying to reach you, trying to be with you. This person, they do have a lot of passion for you. Yeah, the page of wands brings a lot of passion. And it looks like you've got a lot of passion for this person too with this ace of wands. As a matter of fact, you have a lot of wands in this reading, a lot of them. So what I'm getting is that the both of you have a lot of passion for each other. So there could be some really good, for a lot of you, you got great sexual chemistry going on. And that's kind of what's keeping you two together. Well, one of the things that's keeping you two together. A lot of wands. I'm picking up a lot of passion here. Coming from both ends. So the challenge, like I said, your person. They, they want to be with you. This person will be reaching out to you. They see that you're, you're kind of like not taking things as serious as you once were. So it's interesting because the King of Pentacles is about, like I said, success. Wanting security and King of Pentacles is actually a good father type. They're stable. They're not afraid of commitment. They can be career focused. So this is you. You still want to secure this connection with your person. Even though you know they bring a lot of drama to the mix. But deep down inside, you still want this person. You still want the connection. There's passion, passion, passion all over this reading. Yeah, your person must be a good lover, and you two must have a lot of great chemistry. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because they're reaching out to you. They see that you've fallen back a little bit. You're not going full, full on, full blast like you once were. So they're coming in for you with this page of wands. And you're still wanting to, wanting to, wanting to be a part of them. You still want success. So, let's see what the outcome is going to be. Now we got the Nine of Swords. And it's with the Seven of Wands. Now the Nine of Swords, it's about guarding against feelings of anxiety. If you if you start to feel anxious, you might want to take a good look at that and see whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So, 
you might want to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. Now it's with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you actually could help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points to being independent and thinking for yourself. Yeah, so for your challenge, Nine of Swords clarified by the Seven of Wands. So yeah, like I said, even though you, you've decided to not take it so serious, the connection, but you still want it. And they still want you, even though they, they bring a lot of uh, drama to the connection. Um, they see you falling back a little bit. They've got their addictions and bad habits. They make you struggle for dominance just to stay on top of the connection. Because of all the other people that they might deal with. Passion, passion, passion. That's what I keep looking at. Anyway, the outcome... Pisces, it looks like something is still troubling you with regards to this relationship. Yeah, it's, it's causing you some nightmares, maybe, anxiety, possibly, some grief, or maybe even some sadness, some, de some depression. I'm getting that you just really like this person a lot and you wish things were different. Not so much toxicity. They like you too. Yeah. At one point, you might be looking back on how you want it to come out on top. You want it to be the Seven of Wands. You wanted to be the last man standing with this person, but you realize it's still too much for you. Yeah, because now it's starting to lead, lead to nightmares, anxiety, depression, and grief. So you it looks like you're, you're hanging in there. But it seems like the more you hang in there, the more difficult it gets. Because at one point you want, you, re you remember that you want to be the last man standing. When it's just a little bit too much for you. A lot of passion there. Probably a lot of good chemistry between you and this person. You know, we all know that that's not always easy to come by. Good, good chemistry, great connection, a lot of passion, a lot of passion. Yeah, so good luck with this person, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. 
take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, for these readings, the roles can be switched. Time is fluid. It could be going on around now, next month, so don't get so set on the time or the dates. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never see it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care. And take care. And take care. And take care.